Good morning, everyone. Today's Wednesday, August the 3rd, and this is day 22 of my Colorado through hike. So just leaving camp this morning, we had a uh, nice campsite. I camped here with um, three other hikers that were doing the um, collegiate loop. And uh, it was a little bit better than the original campsite that we found where it looked like a bear had um, got in, into um, someone's bear canister and uh, made quite a mess. We did clean up the mess and then there was a, a group of younger um, hikers that came in there and they didn't seem to have a problem staying there, but we didn't want to. So we uh, hiked another three or so miles down the road to this campsite here. So today I have a, a really short hike of only about three and a half miles uh, to the um, Silver Creek Trailhead. Um, I'll get picked up there and heading into Buena Vista one more time uh, for another resupply. So should get there early afternoon, so I'll, I'll get started on the uh, town chores, doing laundry. I won't be able to check in uh, to the hotel till three or four. So I'll get laundry done, and uh, once I get checked in, take a quick shower and go and resupply. And then really um, getting a good night's sleep and then jumping back on the trail uh, first thing tomorrow morning. So that's the plan anyway. And um, I will um, check in and show you anything that I see on the trail between here and the uh, trailhead. I had no idea this was here. This is just, um, gosh, probably uh, 50 steps from uh, where we camped last night. Uh, looks like a great big lake. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but um, I can see fish out there jumping around. Here's a second lake that I ran into, just again, not very far from where we camped last night, uh, off to the left. Um, with all this water around here, I'm really surprised that it wasn't really buggy last night at camp, but it really wasn't. It's about 2.2 miles to the uh, trailhead. <clears throat> Thought I'd show you a little bit about what the trail looks like here. It's been a nice hike. Um, this morning, no real climbing, so to speak. It's mostly uh, downhill and uh, just a little bit of uh, uphill, but not too bad. No climbing. And I'm surprised how many people I've seen. I was concerned that uh, doing the uh, East Collegiate, I'd be the only one here, but I've seen a lot of people. Um, Passed a lot of people that was breaking down camp along the way. So don't know whether they're doing the entire trail or if they're doing the uh, loops, but seems to be a fair amount of people. It's about <clears throat> 8.30 and found a good spot to uh, stop and um, try to get a hotel reservation for tonight in uh, Buena Vista. And... Um, this view on my left hand side kind of caught my attention but I checked the temperature it's about 57 degrees right now it's just absolutely perfect and uh, gorgeous out great day for a hike still up on the ridge quite a bit a um, not really descending or anything just kind of following this ridge line here so I got good news from my driver I will um, Originally, I was going to get picked up about 12 noon and uh, was able to move that up to 1030. So uh, before I was kind of taking my good old time and knew I was going to get there really early. And now I am uh, kind of hustling a little bit to make sure that I uh, am there at 1030 when she arrives. So that'll give me a little bit longer in Buena Vista. Unfortunately, you can't check in normally until 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon into the hotels. But I um, went ahead and went back to the uh, Super 8 again. It's the one that had the uh, one washer, one dryer in the facility. And uh, so I'm hoping that um, even though I get there early and can't check into a room, that I can go ahead and um, maybe get my laundry done while uh, I'm waiting. And if not, then there's a laundromat not too far away that I can go to. It's about 9.15 and I've only got about 0.6 to go to the trailhead. Um, but I thought I would, uh, before I get down to the bottom here, show you some of the views coming down the trail. Uh, gorgeous mountains up about probably 
12, well, maybe 13,000 feet. The tree line's quite a ways down below there, which is, I thought, usually around 11. Let me stop here for a moment and just pan. Just gorgeous. So this trip in town will be a little bit different for me. The other times that I went into town, usually got in a little bit later and I always um, ended up spending uh, two nights in town. Um, one when I got there the first night and then the second night to run errands and uh, get things done. So this will be something new I'm gonna do today. I know that everyone does it all the time so it shouldn't be any big deal, but it's new to me and that is to uh, get into town today and uh, get everything done and uh, head back out and hit the trail tomorrow morning. So that's the plan and, um, and hopefully I am going to stick with it and give it a try. And that'll uh, get me back on the trail one day earlier and um, hopefully um, completion one day earlier at the end. Just spoke with a guy who, um, hiker who started in Durango and is going to Denver. So he's going in the opposite direction. And he said it's, uh, so far he's um, uh, used 22 days to get to this point. So if I use that just as an average, um, he said he's been going about 12, 13 miles a day, um, which is, I guess I've been going maybe a little bit more than that on some days. Um, but um, using that as an average, then it sounds like I would have about three weeks left, um, which I'm just now three weeks into it, three weeks and a day into it. So that would put it at right around the six week or so range, um, which is kind of what I was estimating at the very beginning. So we'll see, but that gives me a good idea of how long it's taking people to get from uh, Durango up to this point here. Well, it's about 9.45 and I just arrived at the Silver Creek Trailhead in plenty of time. Got about 45 minutes to spare. So I will, uh, I think I'll pull my ground um, cloth off to um, dry a little bit. It was wet this morning and I had to pack it up wet. So that will give it some time to dry. And uh, I think it's really cool here, the trailheads that they, they do at the beginning and end of each segment makes it really, really nice, especially for those that are section hiking, um, day hiking, etc. It's nice to um, be able, logistically, to be able to uh, maybe take two cars and park one at one trailhead, one at another one, and that type of thing. So um, don't see that at all in Florida, unfortunately. So this is pretty cool.